starting five played well when we went to the bench. Didn't execute, but you know, I just told them in there. Didn't surprise me. Some of them didn't play well because they didn't practice well the last two days. You practice, you play like you practice. So, a couple of them off the bench didn't practice hard. Did kept making mistakes. They made the same mistakes out there in the game. Uh, I thought we had some players play hard. Tiana played hard. I thought Shania played hard. Katrina played hard. But we got we I got to find a bench, man. I got a bench. We got in foul, you know, we held them to four points the first quarter, and then all of a sudden we got two girls with two fouls, got to go to our bench, and then they score 17, the most they did the whole game that quarter. And it's just because people break down. It, it, it's not our defense. It's, it's people not switching, people not talking, people not getting back, people not getting to the ball. It's the same, they did the same thing in practice the last two days, same people, same mistakes. So I got I to gotta find two or three people come off the bench. Man, I don't know. I got to find some people who are going to be really hurt against a good team. Give Sacramento credit. You know, they, they play that style. They don't care if they hit the threes, miss the three. That's the style they're going to play. And, and they'll, win, they'll win a lot of games in their league this year. Any questions? Coach, are you surprised at all by the impact Naomi's had for you the first, first two games? You no, know, but I like for her to play a little defense. I mean, it does no good to score 20 and your opponent, and the person you're guarding gets 25. You still lose. So she's got to learn on defense. Now, she wants to get better, so she'll get better. Naomi's a good person, hard worker. So Naomi will get better and better and better and better, but she can score the ball. She can score the ball. She probably does power moves in the post better than our, anybody we got. And she can hit the three. So now we just got to get her better on the defensive side. And she wants to get better, so she'll get better. She's going to be a great player for us. Everybody knew, I wonder if you could just kind of take us through. I mean, she had signed with Michigan coming out of high school, yeah. I think, and then she goes to JC, and then did the connection start there in JC, or did you guys know? Well, Coach was... Nichols knew her when he was at Michigan, <laughs> recruited her young, so he had a relationship with her early. Did you, was there anything you said to Tiana, or did you challenge her at the beginning that she needed to step up with Tynese being out and, and really take over that? role of being the primary scorer? Well, I thought the first game during a timeout, I introduced everybody to Tiana because evidently they didn't know her. They didn't think she could play. So I did introductions during a timeout. I said this is one of the best fours in the country, hadn't got enough shots. So from that point on, I think they're getting her the ball a little bit more. I, they just got to know her a little bit. Introduction does a lot of stuff for you, doesn't it? But she does need to. But here, here's what I don't want players to do, and some of our players are doing it. They're trying to make up all of Tynesha's points in one possession. You got to let it come to you. Let it come. We got a lot of people who can score, so we got to move the ball and get the ball to the open man. Let them score. We don't need to force stuff on offense. And at times, some of our guards are forcing stuff. Did you have to do that before? Oh yeah, I've done it before. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've introduced Tynese. Bria Holmes, I used to introduce it to our players. Maybe they didn't know she's our leading scorer and should have the most shots. I mean, it's all about who gets the shots. I mean, somebody could get 20 shots, but it's not the right person getting 20 shots. You know what I mean? Then you're at the end of the game, the wrong person takes the shot or the wrong person has the ball in their hands at the end of the game. So you just got to be careful about that. But it looked like Tiana has really embraced that role right now. Is that, is that Tiana... I'm going to be honest with you, Tiana's one of my favorite players of all time. I've asked her to play the two, the three, the four, and now the five. And has never complained. Has embraced every position I've asked her to play. Not not a lot of players would do that. And, and to be quite frankly, her playing the five hurts her chances at the next level. But she's willing to do it for the team right now. Um, after uh, Central Connecticut State, uh, you said that Shania Ray never quite got into the flow. You think she got into the flow? Yeah, a lot better. Yeah. A lot better. We're not shooting the ball real well right now, especially from the three. We're a lot better shooting team than what we're doing right now, but we'll get that. We'll get that. I'm not concerned about that. Foul shooting, I am concerned. Too many missed foul shots. Shouldn't miss all those. But the threes, I didn't think we forced any of the threes up, but we just missed them. So I, I don't care about that. The mistakes you're seeing, correctable errors? 
it, it, if they work hard and practice. Absolutely. It's not like they're not being told the right way. It's not like we're not telling them what to do and, and, and break down drills and, and go over it time and time again. You know, they, they just got to want to do it, and they they got to stay focused, especially the people coming off the bench. It's going to be very important now. I'm telling you, we've got a lot of people hurt, and the ones that are playing, got, we got to have some bench. We have to have a little bit of bench because you saw there today, first quarter, we had two starters with two fouls. Well, that, that's going to hurt us against a real good team. You kind of went through that last year, too, trying to establish yeah. bench one. Is this comparable to that? Is there any? I mean, I think it's worse. I, th I think it's worse. We had some upperclassmen we were bringing off the bench this year. We got a lot of freshmen coming off the bench, and then it just makes it worse right now. Uh, and then post players, we just don't have. You know, once we get uh, uh, Teresa eligible middle of December, that'll really help us move uh, Tiana back to the four some, which is her natural position. But, I, but again, I, this team's not as easy as play as, as it was. If you guys saw the Kentucky score, Kentucky beat them bad, but it was like a one-point game after the first quarter. Uh, Kentucky was up 10 at halftime. I mean, third quarter it was closer, and then fourth quarter Kentucky blew them out. So this is not an easy team to defend, especially with a young team because they spread you so much and dribble drive you and that type of stuff. So it was a good team for us to play right now, especially for the young players to learn. We'll take one last question. Kind of, out of curiosity, uh, when, you, when you're talking to players about trying to correct mistakes and you're, and you're showing them stuff, do you have to battle the fact that you know at the same time you guys are ranked number 12 and you know you're getting closer to the top 10 each week? Then get the is that a battle? Uh, something you have to battle that you know, coach, we must be doing something right. We're you know number 12. Not the really. All I got to do is show them tape. Yeah. Now, if we're the number 12 team in the country, I'm an astronaut. I mean, I'm flying to the moon next week. That's all I can tell you. We're not even close. We're not even close. And it's a shame we could, coming into the season, no doubt, we were that good. We were that good. Right now, we're not that good. And it's not, it's, it, it's nobody's fault. It's just all the injuries and that, and we're playing people's not ready to play. And it is what it is. And, and you know, I, after about three games, I'll quit complaining about the people not playing. Right now, let's let me complain a little bit. But after about three games, I got to quit complaining about it because it is what it is. You just got to play with what you got. Okay. Thank you.